Hello and welcome. This video is part of a series. I do recommend watching the previous videos. There should be a link in the description of this video to the full playlist. And uh, we're working with Scratch, which is a visual programming interface, uh, or I guess you can, some people will call it a programming language, I guess technically it could be. Um, and we're working on just, you know, learning the basics of it. And today we're going to interact with other objects in our game. So be sure you watch the previous videos. We have our bat that's flying around. Let's have our bat interact with another object, so another sprite. So as I mentioned previously, we currently have one sprite that has uh, multiple uh, looks to it, or costumes. But we can say a new sprite, and again, you can take a picture, upload one, draw one, or choose from the library. And let's see what categories we have here. Things, let's do things. And let's have our bat um, interact. I would say with a banana. Let's make it a fruit bat. And he's gonna come and, and get these bananas. Okay, so we'll say banana, we'll say okay. And there are our bananas. Let's go ahead and move them over there. Let's go ahead and turn our game off by hitting that red box there. So what I want is that when the bat touches the bananas for the bananas to disappear. And so let's go ahead and do that. So let's choose our sprite. So again, our programming, our programs right here that we've written so far, which uh, does the animation for the bat and the movement for the bat is linked to the sprite of the bat, which is called sprite two, which we could rename to be bat. That would make more sense. Uh, but for right now, let's just leave it that and let's choose our bananas here. So now we're programming for our bananas. You can see it up in the right corner there that we have our bananas selected. You can also see the blue border here. Um, and what we're gonna do is we're going to say uh, events, when the game starts, we're gonna say controls, we're gonna say if. And you can see if then statements are a crucial part of programming. So when something happens, do something. So we already have when the button, the start button is clicked, or we've done mouse, but you can do other things. You can do if basically anything you can think of happens, then do something else. And in this case, we're gonna drop this little diamond shape um, uh, block right here. We're going to go to sensors, and under here we can say touching, and we can drop that in there. And again, uh, make sure that it actually drops in there and it expands out, and it's not just like this over it. It actually has to fall into there. And then we're gonna say, if it's touching, Sprite 2, which is our bat. So what's gonna happen when the bananas touch our bat? Well, uh, we can go to looks again and say hide. And that should make our bananas disappear. So let's go ahead and start our game. And again, when we start our game, our background changed. So the bat, look, he's eyeballing. He wants those bananas. Now he's going in and as soon as he touches them, nothing happens. So let's go ahead and figure out why. So what we have to remember, let me stop this game. So what we have to remember is that when you run the code, it runs through this block and it finishes. So as soon as we click the start, it's going, it's checking. Is the bat touching the banana? And if so, hide. And if not, then it's done. So what we have to do is we have to do add one of those forever loops that we've talked about in previous videos. So we're gonna say uh, controls and we're gonna say forever. So now when we click start, it's going to constantly be checking. Is the bat touching the banana? Is the bat touching the banana? And let's go ahead and click start. And now, boop, the bananas disappear. So let's go ahead and stop our game. And you notice the bananas are gone now. If we click start, they're still gone. So let's go ahead and stop that. I can right click down here on the bananas and say show and they'll reappear. But again, if we start the game again, as soon as we touch them, they disappear. Stop the game, start the game, they're not there. So what we need to add is under looks, at the beginning, when the game starts, show the bananas. Then forever after they're shown, check and see if they're being touched. So here we go, boop, they're there, they're gone forever until we stop the game. When we start it again, they reappear, boop. And now let's add a sound to that so that when the bananas are touched, they make a sound. So uh, we get the banana selected, let's go to sounds. We want to play, um, let's see, let's play a sound. 
select here. Let's go two sounds. And oh, I was hoping, oh yeah, choose sound from library. So let's go effects. We got a. I like, oh, this is chomp one. Oh, that's a good one. Let's choose chomp and say okay. So it will sound like the bat is eating the bananas. So let's go ahead and start our game and he eats them perfect. I like that. Now we can also add something to the bat. Uh, and I haven't tried this, but let's see if this works. We're going to say, again, let's start another group here. We're going to say, well, no, we can do the forever here. That should work. We'll say controls uh, if, and here we're going to say sensor. We're going to say now under the bat, again, I've switched to the bat. Make sure you're on the bat is touching the bananas, we're going to go to looks and we're going to have him think something for two seconds. And he's going to think, yummy. And this should work. <laughs> now, when we touch him, uh, because our bat is has his flapping wings, it says yummy. So, that kind of works. He's, he's thinking yummy. Uh, let me think if there's a better way to do this. If we can freeze his animation uh, without getting too in-depth on this. Um, I don't want to go too in-depth in this. What we'd have to do is send a signal to the thing to tell it to stop and put an if statement in here. And that's future videos. But what we got is working. He thinks yummy. So we have a game going. Could definitely be fixed up a little bit. Also, when he when he's thinking that, he's not moving around anymore. Kind of holds him in place. And that's because we're trying to do this forever loop. If we want him to still move around, uh, we can move this to another thing, which was how I was originally going to do it. We're going to say start this. So now when I, when I eat the bananas, the bat can still fly around. Uh, but the, in that case, the, the yummy thinking thing doesn't work. So that doesn't work. So we definitely have to tweak that a little bit. Maybe we'll look at that in the next video. I do thank you for watching. As always, please visit filmsbychris.com. That's Chris the K. There should be a link in the description uh, of this video. Uh, it's where you can search through all my videos, and I have lots of them. I do thank you for watching. And as always, I hope that you have a great day.